YouTube channel. I'm starting another little daily vlog today. Literally so last minute. Just randomly got the motivation to film today. So here we are. Let me show you guys my little OOTD. I just threw it together. We got a very chill, comfy outfit on. We got these little flower bike short type things from my mom made it. And then we have this Princess Polly little waffle knit tank top and my white fox oversized button up shirt. I did my makeup, put my hair in this little clip and we're ready for the day. Don't know what the day's gonna hold, but we will find out together. I'm about to like make my bed a little bit because it looks like this and it's super messy. Um, But look at this. Look at this PR box I got from Rare Beauty. I cannot even believe it. I got her entire lip line range and I'm so excited. So yeah, I literally don't know what I did to deserve such a beautiful PR package, especially from Rare Beauty and Miss Selena herself. Anyways, I have my coffee for the day. I already started drinking it. The only important thing that I need to get done today is go drop off some of my Amazon returns. I always wait to the last minute and if I don't do it today, then I'm not gonna be able to return them. So pretty boring, but that's like the only errand that I need to run today. So I'm about to put on some socks. And Sam's coming with me, I think. <sighs> you guys are in my closet right now. It's super dark in here. Really wanted to wear some long high socks. I just feel like that fits the vibe of this outfit today. But yay. Let's go put on my slides and head out the door. I think Sam is literally waiting for me outside. Okay. Sunny's on and we're ready to go. This is like a very boring day in my life. I usually don't film on days like this, but I'm doing it for you guys. Hopefully you guys enjoy it, even though it's a little boring. Hello. So we have everything in the back seat of the stuff that we need to go and return. Just need to go drop it off at the UPS store. I'm yeah. like kinda hungry. I just have this daily struggle of never knowing what to eat. And like I run out of ingredients to make things at home. So then I end up like having to buy something but then I don't know where to order from. And it's just like this like cycle of just me never knowing what to eat. Whatever, we'll figure it out. The plan right now is to drop these off and then figure out something to do for lunch because I am starving. How's it going? Yeah. Oh, okay. We just arrived. I'm fixing my clip and I'm gonna go and bring in my little packages to be returned from Amazon. Does my hair look a mess? You're going to the UPS store. The fuck? So what if I see somebody in there? What if I see, I don't know, the mayor? <laughs> okay. Now okay. run, gone with the wind. Go. What a weirdo. All right guys, I dropped off my packages and now we came to get sandwiches at the deli and that is what our lunch is going to be. And I thought I would do a little mukbang for you guys and like talk because I put on my Instagram story like what I should film because I've been kind of like, you know, running out of ideas. This is fine. Yeah. And a lot of you guys were saying to do more like girl talk type questions. So I was like, let's just throw in a little mukbang and maybe me and Sam can like talk and just like- Do some girl talk? Yeah, do some girl talk because Sam's like my only friend. He's just one of the girls. Let me get some of that. We have a little lovely sandwich. On we a have a sandwich. Literally oh. everything bagel, lettuce, pickle, pepper jack cheese, and a little bit of turkey. I don't usually get turkey because I don't really eat meat that often, but I really have been not eating protein, so Sam forced me to get it. So, okay. Someone said, how to make the first move on a crush as a girl? That's a good question. We're not very experienced in this. I am. You okay, me? How am I? Yeah. I was killing it when I was three. I think it's really important that the girl gives a clear signal that she's into him. If he's your friend, then like, be flirty with him. Yeah, like, be make flirty. It, be flirty, like make it known to him that like, oh, she's clearly flirting with me. Yeah, like if this was me, I would try to be flirty with them and not like make a, like a clear move, like, oh, she's making a move. Like it would be like way more subtle and I would just be very flirty and like almost so they can catch the hint and like kind of feel out the vibe. And if he doesn't seem like he's like reciprocating it or that he's into it, I would just like, I don't know, personally, I would like kind of take that as a hint of like, okay, maybe he's not into me. Cause I would be also scared to like be rejected. There's more likely of a chance that he will be into you. Oh, yeah, he obviously. will flirt back. Long term relationship advice. We've been together for almost six years. Here's what you gotta understand about relationships. This long term stage is not built on lust. It's built on love. And when it's built on love, there's certain things that you have to understand. You have to understand that you're not always going to be so jolly and there's gonna be bad days and there's gonna be good days. You have to understand that it's a lot more of a compen 
um, what's the word I'm looking for? Compromise. A compromise. You have to be there for the person, even when they're like, they're moody. Oh my god. But like, also understand that there are gonna be good days. Definitely like, compromise and communication is like, the key. Because you're always gonna have to be compromising on things, you're not always gonna agree. And you have to communicate good or else you're gonna and get my... into fights. And we're by no means perfect at that. We're still learning, we still fight. What matters is that we actually do like love and care for each other. And we're willing to like work on it together. Yeah. Ending a friendship and how to deal with that. I feel as though if you like feel like their friendship is not like serving you, making you feel good or not, it's just like causing you more stress than it is like happiness, like how it should be. Then like that's when you should know that like, you know, maybe you should distance yourself from that person. I like it's very similar to like going through a breakup with like, like yeah. you're like a significant other. No, if it's because like you're really sad and you don't want to stop being friends with this person because of like you remember all like the good times you guys had or whatever but then there's other like things that are important to you that are bothering you and like you just know for a fact that i can't explain what i'm trying yeah. to say so it's a very hard thing to do but ultimately you have to do what's best for you and you just have to remember that you're doing it for yourself and like you're gonna be like way happier and then you'll like find other people who actually value you and will communicate with you and will actually like be the type of friend that you need you know what i mean mm -hmm. i'm a very out of sight out of mind person they are your space of like things that like can remind you of that in the end you're gonna be way happier if you really feel like that's what you need to do you never feel bad about being selfish and like choosing what's best for you and that's it that's what you gotta do the other person could be like a good person this doesn't it doesn't mean that they're like a bad person but just what's in line with what you need in your life. Exactly. Made it back home now. Honestly, I don't really have a lot to do right now. I showed you guys in a few videos ago that I got the road skincare stuff. Hailey Bieber. She's amazing. I love her. I got the barrier cream and then the watermelon lip treatment. And a bunch of you guys have been asking me to review it. And I've been using it literally every single day. The lip treatment is my favorite lip balm ever. Because it's so glossy and amazing. The watermelon smell is amazing. It's not like an obnoxious noxious watermelon it's just delicious look at how beautiful it looks on the barrier cream i really like as well and i think she did a really great job i didn't get the glazing fluid because it's sold out but i really want to get it once she restocks so yeah those are my thoughts on it love it i just finished doing some work on my computer and i just put on a little hoodie really quickly i just wanted to pop in and show you guys a cute little miniature try on clothing haul because i just got a few new pieces from J Ng us i will put it on the screen right here they have the cutest fashionable and affordable pieces and i just recently got four items i'm staring at it and it is so cute so the first thing i picked out was this t-shirt you guys know i live in oversized t-shirts and when I saw this one, my jaw literally dropped to the floor because look at how cute. There's three little teddy bears and it's really high quality because there are three patches. So it also adds like texture to the shirt, which I really like. And it's just so cute. Like this one's wearing a little basketball jersey. This one says success. And this one is just like in a little striped shirt. I just think it's so cute. Um, I'm obsessed. I'm going to be wearing this all the time now. And I paired it with these really cute denim shorts. These really caught my eye because of the cinching over here. They're like stretch very comfortable they cover you very nicely and they also just like hug your waist beautifully so I'm definitely going to be wearing these all the time just some staple nice denim shorts and then I also really liked their basics and I was really in need of a good basic white t-shirt and white shorts so that is exactly what I got here are the white shorts super cute same thing just very nice and durable and just staple shorts that you need in your wardrobe especially for the summertime happy about those and then here here is just a nice staple white t-shirt that is also going to be put very much to use because I was in need of a cute little t-shirt like this that obviously can go with literally anything. I'm obsessed. I can't wait to add these into my summer wardrobe. If you guys want to shop any of these pieces, I'll have them linked down below as well as their sizes so that you can easily go and find it. And if you want, you can use my coupon code Samantha15 for 15% off site wide, which is amazing. So go save some money. That's pretty much it. Thank you so much to J Ng US for sponsoring this portion of the video. And let's continue with our day. I kind of want to go outside and go in my backyard for a little bit because I'm bored and I don't want to be in my room anymore. And it looks sunny outside, so having a very chill day today. Okay. As I was coming downstairs to go outside, I saw I got some PR packages, only two of them. So I thought we would open them up together and do a little unboxing for fun. Because I actually don't really know what either of these are, and I can't recognize the like address. So we're just gonna open them up together. I'm opening it up with a pen cap. 
so don't judge me. Very cute. So we have some little products. I think these are eyeliners. I do not know how to pronounce the brand name, but I think these are all eyeliners in like different colors. That's pretty cool. Ooh, that's pretty nice. This is like a metallic little eyeliner. Very cool. This is the brand name. I don't know how to say words, so thank you so much. I can't wait to play around with this, and I will definitely show you guys more. I usually test out a lot of the products that I get in PR on my TikTok, just because it's easy to make like, you know, little videos trying out certain brands and everything. So definitely go follow my TikTok, because if you're ever wondering, I usually try out all like products that I get from PR on there. And it's just easier to see, you know, just in the little tiny videos. Okay, next is this big box. Oh, guys. Look at this. Thank you so much to CoverGirl. Like, this is so insane. I'm having a moment right now. This is so insane. CoverGirl. I can't wait to unbox all of that later, but thank you so much. Thank you not only to CoverGirl and any other brand that sends me things, but thank you to you guys because I literally would not be here without you. And you guys gave me my dream job and I still like wake up every day being like, what the hell? Like, how did I get here? I love you guys so much and I'm so thankful. Like, I'm just like a little bit speechless right now. Very excited to go through all those products, try them out. Definitely going to be making videos with them yeah i'm just gonna chill out here think about everything that i'm grateful for because i just can't believe it i love you guys so much guys i was just sitting here literally getting so tired it's about like 9 p.m and i already had dinner and everything and then becca texted me and was like i really want pizza but i don't want to eat it alone so i was like girly i got you and so now i'm going to get pizza with her like why i don't know fun fact about me i can literally never pass up pizza you know i need to help my friend out when she's in need and she wants pizza and so now so do i so she's gonna come pick me up and we're gonna go and get some pizza so yay and look how cute the sky is right now look at it it's like cotton candy That was very fun. But now I'm back in bed and I'm gonna go to sleep now. Thank you guys so much for spending this little day with me. I feel like this was a very chill, fun day that we just got to like hang out as friends and kind of do it together. Like this was a very realistic day in my life, I think, because most days I don't really do anything that crazy or fun. Now I'm gonna go to sleep because I'm so tired, so. I love you guys so much. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Make sure to go follow me on all my socials and I will see you guys in the next one. Good night.